any budget of this nature it consists of two three components only the schedule uh, if for longer the schedule if you realize it will take money is more because you have to uh, in terms of uh, uh, infrastructure in terms of manpower everything you have to pay that is that we are always our uh, schedule is very very uh, compact schedule so we are able to realize second thing is uh, another thing is manpower i think uh, manpower point of view uh, indian engineers uh, are uh, second to none technically i think uh, but uh, you look at here overall salary point of view i think our salary is a very very uh, limited uh, salary and uh, we are able to do another thing is uh, over and above that we have the uh, vision like chandrayaan and mangalyaan gave us a confidence we can do the mission at first shot time itself okay that means uh, in, in term other ways you would look at here mission of this caliber and space mission normally they will make the three models uh, three hardware they will make something called engineering model qualification model then they go for the flight model but whereas uh, india is concerned always we went for the chandrayaan mangalyaan succeeded and uh, similar missions also single model that is hardware we are doing only once so that is uh, another way of doing it and over and above that overall testing testing also we have very good amount of uh, our people are good in analysis and simulation so the amount of tests what we go in the infrastructure or the uh, time we spend also we limit it to the level compared to any other levels so that way compact schedule and the manpower is a very very cost effective economic manpower and the number of hardware what we realize for the mission is uh, limited and the number of tests what called for is only bare minimum requirement only we do that all the things put together it's a unique uh, thing what india follows i think to my knowledge i think slowly people are also looking how india is succeeding in spite of these things normally we'll tell a minimum model minimum schedule and the minimum test and the minimum hardware will lead to a failure but we are succeeding repeatedly and that means this success model is being also being uh, uh, studied elsewhere so that way i think we are doing it much better you look at here the next 5 years i think nearly 70 plus uh, projects have been uh, lined up uh, where in the remote sensing uh, communication navigation and science point of view and uh, where in the for the overall uh, digital india point of view what spaces are required in terms of uh, cartography or in terms of resource mapping in terms of oceanography in terms of uh, weather monitoring or the navigation or communication communication the uh, satellites have been identified and we are working towards realizing that satellites another uh, uh, co- coming years i think each one of the satellites will be released at the rate of uh, n- minimum one satellite per month i think that's what we are targeting very very ambitious schedule i think having done the mars first attempt having done the chandrayaan first attempt having discovered water on the moon we believe back to earth mission of uh, 70 missions in the 5 years also equally possible for us